Yo, what's going on around me? Oh, hey, what's up, everybody on YouTube? Spikeman Dan, nonstop. All right, so we're going to go, and I got the uh, super engine all cleaned out. I cleaned out the float bowl, had a little bit of black sand in it, and uh, engine has oil. I checked for spark. We got spark, so I'm getting ready to fire it up. First, we got to put gas in it. Stick around. I'm getting ready to fill it up. Hopefully there's not any major leaks or anything. Big old giant freaking gas cap. should be enough to test fire it. Choke is on, fuel is on. Now. All right, guys, wish me luck. It is in the on position. Baby, oh, that's real smooth. Like, you can hardly even tell if it has compression. Whoo, that was exciting. We got a working engine now. baby fire for daddy I bet it's been a long time since that engine's fired up. Oh, look at that. It's leaking out of that gasket. It's broken. But she fires. We got a six horse Subaru now. I just got to get the other engine test fired. But the gas tank on that one is ugh, nasty. All right, so we're on the second engine. Subaru's right there. She's running great. This engine, I don't think that's gonna run, do you? That's the float ball off of the carburetor. Oh my God, status. Oh my God. The thing looks like it caught herpagonocephalitis or severe case of the clap. That is nasty. Luckily, I'm pretty sure all the stock carburetors that I pulled off of the other engines will more than likely work for this application. They're all pretty much the same damn thing. 
And another thing I noticed is an issue. I noticed there is oil leaking out of these holes. So you know what that means? That means, oh uh, yeah, there it is. Whoever had this engine before over cranked down and broke the case. So luckily, if, I, if I'm correct, I got another case for this engine because it's the overhead valve, not the uh, Hemi. So my replacement case is off and my other engine should work for this. I'm hoping it'll fit the cam and everything will be fine. And I'll just throw another carburetor on there. I don't have to buy anything. I've already got the parts, so I'm going to be turning this sucker down. I'm also going to throw a new gas tank on it because that one's got a bunch of crud in it. Take a look in there. What is that? A funny looking thing. But either way, oh yeah, that there's no way this tank's going to fly. So stick around for part three when I get this engine running. Well, hey guys, it's getting dark out, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight on this uh, engine resto rebuild. But I guarantee it's going to love me when I am done with it, and it's going to run like a badass. Because you guys have to understand, from the uh, the last engines that I blew up, the non-hemis, you got to remember, I still got the billet aluminum flywheel, the chromoly push rods, the 26-pound valve springs, and I'm hoping they'll fit on that engine. I'm hoping. And I even have an aftermarket cam that I'm going to see if it'll squeeze in there as well. The only difference is it's basically the same engine, but it's a 5.5 horse. So keep your fingers crossed and hope to God that all the aftermarket stuff from the uh, previous Hemis, or I mean not Hemis, but the previous Predators, will hopefully work on this engine. And that way I got two high performance engines. Spec Man out. Don't forget to hit that like button and stay subscribed, people. We're going non-stop until this engine is done. But for now, it's a call in the other night. Got the moon out tonight. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Nice little cat's eye with the uh, adjacent planet next to it. So, we have some pretty awesome sunsets here and all that good stuff. But at any rate, whoa, what was that? Just saw something bright shoot across the sky and it was more towards the sunset. Aliens, man. They're everywhere. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a good night. Until the next uh, time I get a chance to uh, get further into this engine. Oh my god, it is so disgusting. Wait till you guys see the pictures I post. <laughs>